Love songs don't come easy to me. I've been working on one since I was 23. Why don't you tell me who you are? I'm Ray Tiley, a.k.a. Santa Ray. Santa Ray, what do you do, Santa? Santa Ray, what do I do? You mean like... Well, I play music. Okay. Um, I used to do a lot of accounting. Okay. Uh, for a, a non-profit organization, Catholic Charities. Right. Diocese of Metuchen. Let's talk about music. When did you start playing music, Ray? When did I start playing music? Well, actually, I started at a very young age. I think we only to consider it young. Um, second grade, I really wanted to play guitar. Mm -hmm. And... They were like, nah, you're, you're too small to play guitar. So um, they got me a ukulele. Mm -hmm. I took lessons, I, I don't know, maybe six months on ukulele. Right. Well, anyway, so then, you know, I kind of faded. But the Beatles and Ricky Nelson were like my big thing. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to be like Ricky Nelson or John Lennon or something like that. But it's always a guitar thing for me. So I got to fifth grade. Then they had like band, you know, fifth, sixth graders. And I started playing clarinet. Mm -hmm. And then I did that for a while, you know, fifth and sixth grade. Had my first band, and it was called the Offbeats. It was me and a drummer. Right. That was it. <laughs> the clarinet and a drummer. Oh, we were wow. playing like little Beatles songs that I could play the melodies to, and he could do whatever he was doing with it. Mm -hmm. So um, at 15, I started playing guitar. Seriously, started playing guitar. Mm -hmm. uh, my friend and I, George, we stole his dad's steel, right. his silver tone, mm -hmm. barred his silver tone. Learned how to play, you know, Neil Young songs, things like that, and just evolved from there. So around 15, I started getting serious with that. And then when I got to college, I went to a college, didn't have a guitar teacher. So I majored in piano, and I already banged on one because we had one in our house for a long time. I didn't really know what I was doing, but I didn't know how to play certain chords and stuff like that. And um, I actually took piano lessons for two and a half years. Wow. play with. Now, you're, you appear on the Downtown All-Stars of Red Bank's new compilation CD called Magic on Navisink with a song called Love Songs. Tell me a little bit, if you can, about that song and uh, who plays with it on you. Uh, well, on that, that song, I brought Paul Lambert with me because he's a great drummer. Mm -hmm. And we started out, just me and Paul, and I brought, um, oh, I'm going to say his name wrong. I don't know how you say it, Mike, Mike's last name, how do you say it? I say Squillis, but... I don't know, it's more Italian than that. Uh, Squillasi. That might be that, it might Squillasi. be. He always yells at me because I say, I'm sorry, Mike, I'm really <laughs> sorry. I call him Sax Man, Mike okay. Sax Man, but um, Sax Skills, he's Sax Skills. I'll make sure I spell it right on the... Well, yeah, sure, sure. but I mean, it brought those two guys with me and um, thrilled thrilled to death um, with Paul's playing. I'm thrilled to death with his. I mean, we did the sax in what, one take? Mm -hmm. And it's just like, oh, whoa. He goes, oh, I could do it better. I said, no, no, you can't do it better. Mm -hmm. You did it in, right then, you were in the moment. You know, it was, it was awesome. Mm -hmm. So then um, you guys surprised me. We had you and DJ Pinelli mm -hmm. and Laura uh, Johnson and Don Hopkins. Uh, came in and did some backup vocals, and um, I, I knew you guys were up to something, but I wasn't sure why. <laughs> like, just taking a long time. Where, what is going on with this thing? Well, Next thing you know, hey, listen to this. Yeah. I'm like, oh my God, you just like took my song and like. Yeah. Well, a big shout out to Scott Burton on that. We oh yeah. To Scott's house. And oh, and Scott laid down that bass line. That was just awesome. Yeah. So I have to thank all of you guys so much. Yeah. Well, we're a music family here today. Yeah, we are. All stars, we are. and we collaborate. And Part of my joy in producing all this is working with people I'm friends with and creating magic. And that's, to me, what inspires me to do more. And I, lo I love that. And I love that you guys kind of gave me an early birthday present. And it's just like you took the song and I was like, I wasn't sure how it was really going to work out. And then I was just like, I mean, I know the version that I made 32 years ago. I just listened to it twice on the way over here just to kind of... Um, but the song is still the same song, right. but it's, it's different, yeah. you know, which is cool. It's real, it's modern, and I like that. And you guys did a great job on that. Well, thank you. And I really love it. Uh, 
basically I'm going for um, a heart transplant. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, they decided after they put the second defibrillator in in May right. that my heart's not pumping and working the way it should be working. Obviously, I have a defibrillator for three years. Right. But they put a new one in because the other one went off. Right. And, and you don't get a new defibrillator just because your defibrillator went off, but they found some other issues they need to fix. And this defibrillator is uh, top of the line. Okay. Um, as my doctor said, I'm gonna pimp your ride. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said, bring it on, let's oh, go. Oh, that's but nothing would happen. It's probably shouldn't say this here, but you can clip it out if you want to. There's only two men in the world that will actually kiss on the lips. One will be Sal, and one will be your Mike Sikowski. <laughs> wow, you know I'm leaving that in. You know I'm leaving it in. Mike, Sal, I love you so much. Those two guys, they're just such, they're, they're like brothers from other mothers. Right. And they just like take you in and they, you know, they just, I love them and I'm sure they love me the same way. So. Yeah. I can't describe it. Yeah. As TV would say, you're never going to die. So I don't have to worry about any of you guys work. You know, there's going to be generations after you that'll be talking about me, right. I think. Um, but I, I just want people to remember that, you know, giving to other people is the best thing. You know, you just. Don't take, 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 take. Just give, give, give. It's, 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 it works out better that way. Mm -hmm. You know, as much as you can give to everybody around you. That's what I try to do. You know, and don't dwell on the past. You know, grudges and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I have one and probably never go away, but the rest of them are gone, you know, so. Um, and we'll talk about that sometime. Excellent. Um, Excellent. Thank you, Santa. Thank you very much for having me. And, and thanks for having me on the CD. Excellent. And, hey, it's our pleasure. No, the pleasure's all mine, actually. <laughs> I love it. And I hope it sells really well. Oh, we will try to. And we'll raise a lot of money. This is why I do these things. I want to raise money for people that need it. If you set me free, but I know.